Greetings from Edu Aspirants. In the series of our videos on India, this is the ninth chapter that we would cover. Let us see what we have for you in this chapter. India 9 Communications and Information Technology Part 1 The Ministry of Electronics and Technology promotes e-governance and sustainable growth of the electronics, IT and ITES industries enhancing India's role in internet governance while the Ministry of Communications looks after the Department of Posts and Department of Telecommunications. Posts The modern postal system was established in India by Lord Clive in 1766 and it was further developed by Warren Hastings in 1774. The Post Office Act was enforced on 1st October 1854 with the issue of first postage paid postal stamp valid all over India. The Indian Post Office Act 1898 governs the services. In the mid 19th century, its conveyance systems facilitated travel and by maintaining the dark bungalows and dark sarais. Mail order services were started and value payable system was introduced in 1877. Money order services started in 1880. Post office savings bank was started in 1882. And banking facilities for all government employees with postal life insurance cover started in 1884. The post office network started remittance of funds banking and insurance services in the latter half of the 19th century. The Department of Posts comes under the Ministry of Communications. As you saw in the first slide, the Postal Service Board, the management body of the department, comprises a chairman and six members. The six members of the board hold portfolios of personnel, operations, technology, postal life insurance, banking and HRD that is the human resource and planning. The chairman of postal services board is also the secretary of the department of posts. India has the largest postal network in the world with over 1,55,015 post offices of which 90% are in rural areas. A post office in the country serves an area of 20 square kilometer and a population of 7,000 people. The postal network consists of three categories of post office, head post offices, sub post offices and extra departmental branch post offices. Department of Posts operates small savings schemes on behalf of Ministry of Finance. The Post Office Savings Bank operates savings accounts, recurring deposit, time deposit, monthly income scheme, public provident fund, national savings certificate, Kisan Vikas Patra, Senior Citizens Savings Scheme and the Sukanya Samriddhi account. All this is important for your competitive exams. The core banking solution is a part of India Post IT Modernization Project. The project created facilities of anytime, anywhere banking, ATM, and internet banking. More than 23,000 post offices have converted to CBS, that is core banking services and ATMs, automated teller machines, you must all be knowing this, 
have been installed in over 980 locations across the country. The post office is providing easy access to market-based investment options to the common man. Mutual fund products of UTI are being retailed through over 2,000 post offices. International money transfer service is available through post offices for transferring personal remittances from abroad to beneficiaries in India from around 195 countries. Presently, the service is available from 9,943 locations across the country. National Pension Scheme NPS for citizens is also provisioned by India Post. Indian citizens in the age group of do you know the age group? 18 to 55 years they can join NPS and contribute till the age of 60. Jan Suraksha schemes like the Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana PMSBY and the Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana PMJJBY are available in CBS post offices for all post office savings account holders. Reserve Bank of India launched its differential banking policy for more focused banking and to promote convenience of digital banking. Accordingly, India Post Payments Bank IPPB is incorporated as a public limited company and it has two branches, one in Raipur and the other in Ranchi. The main focus of the Rural Business Division is to provide financial services to rural population through opening of post office savings bank accounts and disbursement of social security scheme payments. Postal Life Insurance PLI it is the oldest life insurer in the country, introduced in 1884 as a welfare scheme for the benefit of government employees, public sector employees, credit cooperative societies, joint ventures with at least 10% government stake. Starting with upper insurance limit of 4000, the maximum sum assured is 50 lakhs. And this is for all the schemes now. PLI offers six types of plans whole life assurance, Suraksha, convertible whole life assurance, Suvida, endowment assurance, Santosh, anticipated endowment assurance, Sumangal, joint life assurance, Yugal Suraksha, and children's policy, Bal Jeevan Bhima. Rural PLI. RPLI also offers six types of plans whole life assurance, convertible whole life assurance, Gram Sovida, endowment assurance, Gram Santosh, anticipated endowment assurance, Gram Sumangal, 10 years RPLI, Gram Priya, and children's policy, Bal Jeevan Bhima. So, this is for the rural population primarily. Speed Post. It provides a time bound and express delivery of letters and parcels weighing up to any idea 35 kg. And this is between specified stations in India. Insurance facility up to rupees 1 lakh is also provided to Speed Post articles. Passport delivery services through Speed Post are also offered. Department of Posts and Ministry of External Affairs have mutually leveraged the network of post office as passport seva kendras for citizens. The e-commerce market has boosted the parcel segments. Example, B2C, 
business to customer and C to C customer to customer parcels. Express parcel. It is a premium parcel service for retail and bulk customers offering time bound, safe and secure home delivery of parcels. To have a minimal transit time, these parcels will be given airlift wherever needed. Minimum chargeable weight of express parcel is 0.5 kg that is 500 grams whereas maximum chargeable weight of retail customers is 20 kg and for contractual customers it is 35 kg. Business parcel service provides an economical distribution solution to corporate customers. Minimum chargeable weight of parcels is 2 kg and maximum weight is 35 kg. Service is available for all locations in the country. Cash on delivery, this facility is available to the contractual customers of express parcel, business parcel and the speed post. Logistics post provides express logistics services to corporates as part of supply chain solution, full truckload services FTL, less than truckload services LTL, warehousing services, order processing and fulfillment services and reverse logistics services. There is no upper weight limit for logistics post consignment. The minimum chargeable weight through surface being 50 kg and 25 kg by air. Through surface means by road. Retail post services include collection of electricity bill, telephone bills, taxes, fees, sale of raki envelopes, address verification service, sale of application forms of various educational institutions and recruiting agencies. In order to provide railway tickets through convenient locations, railway reservation tickets of all classes are being sold at the post offices in association with the Ministry of Railways. E-Post It is an unregistered hybrid mail for both retail and corporate customers providing electronic transmission of messages which may include text messages, scanned images, pictures and their delivery in hard copies at the destination through postman and other delivery staff. E-Post Office is an e-commerce portal for postal facility through the internet. This portal provides select postal services to customers from home or their office using own computer and internet. Customers can buy philatelic stamps and pay PLI or RPLI premium online. This we just saw in a previous slide using credit debit card through this portal. The electronic Indian postal order EIPO allows citizens living in India and abroad to pay RTI fee online through the e-post office portal. Sale of Sovereign Gold Bond SGB introduced by Ministry of Finance is done by the Postal Department. All these one-liners are probable questions for your forthcoming competitive. The Department of Posts also manages the Aadhaar enrollment and operation centers in the post offices across the country. An Android based mobile application named Postman mobile app designed and developed in house by the department at its Center for Excellence in Postal Technology Mysuru in the Karnataka has been launched. Based on the need for providing safe, secure and faster transmission of parcels, particularly e-commerce consignments, the department has set up 
our dedicated road transport network for transmission of these parcels. Philately is the hobby of collecting stamps and a mode of commemorating, celebrating and promoting national heritage, culture, events and also remembering our eminent personalities. In keeping with their dual aspect as a token of postage and as cultural ambassador, there are two categories of stamps which are definitive and commemorative postage stamps. The definitive postage stamps have less complicated design inputs, less expensive and are printed in large quantities meant for day-to-day -day use as a token of payment of postage or mail articles. The commemorative postage stamps, as the name suggests, are designed and printed with greater aesthetic inputs. These are manufactured in limited quantities and generate great interest among philatelists and collectors. Issue of customized corporate my stamps in addition to personalized my stamp was started for corporate customers. Corporates, organizations, and institutions have their logo and images printed on stamps. India is a member of the 192 member Universal Postal Union UPU since 1876 and this UPU headquarters are in Bern, Switzerland. It aims at extending, facilitating and improving postal relations among other countries. Department of Posts has framed the Postal Training Policy 2012 with the objective of postal training for all. The department has training institutes at Rafi Ahmed Kidwai National Postal Academy at Kaziabad at the Central Training Institute for Higher Managerial Cadres recognized by the Department of Posts and Telegraph. Postal Training Centers at Darbanga, Guwahati, Madurai, Mysuru, Saranpur and Vadodara train operative staff and inspectorial cadres. The 33 member, India included, Asian Pacific Postal College at Bangkok, Thailand provides professional training in a range of business and postal competencies. The social media cell of Department of Posts has established India Post Health Center in September 2016 which can be reached through a toll-free number. And what is this number? 192. This brings us to the end of the first video in the series of three videos on communication and information technology. Keep revising. The second video in the series will be uploaded soon. Please subscribe, like, share and press the bell icon for updates. Best wishes for your forthcoming exams.